Today we're going to discuss Magneto Rheological Suspension Systems, also known by their far easier to pronounce common name, Magneride. But what is Magneride? Well, Magneride was developed by a subsidiary of GM back in the early 2000s. So what it is, is a magnetically controlled damper system for your car. Now, before we get into what Magneride is and how it works, let's talk about generic shocks and struts and how they operate. So before we can discuss how Magna Ride works, we have to know how an actual shock functions. So the shock's job is basically to absorb shock and also control tire contact patch, hence the common name shock absorber. Now what a shock is, it's basically a small hydraulic pump. You have your rod, you have a piston inside, and you have hydraulic fluid. The piston has small holes in it, so as the piston moves into the fluid, it will allow a certain amount of fluid to pass through it, which allows it to absorb the shock. Now, the shock has two basically settings. You have compression and rebound. Compression is when the shock compresses, and rebound is when the shock extends. Now, in your standard shock, you basically have one setting provided by that piston that does both compression and rebound. When you get the more advanced shocks, you can control the setting yourself. So a question we commonly get is, what's the difference between a shock and a strut? Well, again, as far as the construction, they operate kind of the same way. Same idea, rod, piston, oil, they work the same way. The difference is the strut is an integral part of your suspension. So as far as the shock goes, if you'd remove the shock, the car's gonna still sit there at normal ride height. It would ride terribly, but it would function. The strut is a part of the suspension itself. If you remove the strut from the front of a Mustang, that car's gonna sit on the ground and not be able to move. So a shock is basically an addition to control suspension where a strut does the same thing, but it's an integral part of the structure of the suspension itself. So now we know how a conventional shock and strut operate. So how about Magneride? Well, that term I mentioned in the beginning, Magneto Rheological, that is gonna be the oil inside of a Magneride shock. So at the basic level, the Magneride shock is the same. You have your rod, you have your piston with the small holes in it, allowing oil to pass through, but you have that special magnetic oil, which is synthetic oil with iron particles. Now you have that piston that will move through that oil, but that piston also has electromagnetic coils on it. So what happens is when those coils receive power, they'll actually make a magnetic field out of that oil, which makes that oil much thicker and makes it harder to pass through the piston, making for a much firmer shock. Now, basically how this operates, well, you've got a control computer inside the car. You have sensors at all four corners. The sensor sends the signal to the computer and the computer tells the shock what to do and how to operate. So when you're driving down the road on a nice smooth flat road, basically there's no magnetic coils, there's no activity. So the shock moves nice and soft, you get a great ride. When you move into a corner, that sensor triggers the computer, the computer tells the shock to adjust, and it firms up as needed. Now these changes take place in microseconds and they're happening constantly, which makes for a very high performance, but also a very soft and comfortable ride. Now Magneride was first used in the 2002 Cadillac, but the first performance application was the 2003 Corvette. Now, as far as the Mustangs go, the GT350 in 2015 was the first Mustang with Magneride, and now it's available in the GT500, the Mach 1, as well as any 2018 to newer GT or EcoBoost. So we're gonna show you some of the Magneride components on my GT350 and how they actually operate. But one question we get a lot is, can you actually modify a car with Magneride suspension? I mean, it's a very high-end, high-tech suspension and it's very expensive, so can you modify it? Well, the answer is yes. In the case of the Mustang, we sell lowering springs from Steed and Ford Performance, and even dual springs from MMS that allow you to lower your Magneride equipped car and really, really dial in your ride height while still working with the parameters of the Magneride suspension. If you want to take it a step further, both DSC and RideTech offer aftermarket controllers for the Magneride that allow you to truly dial in the ride. So again, if you have a Magneride ride car and you want to modify it, you absolutely can. But again, these suspension systems are high tech and they're killer right out of the box. So here's the front man ride suspension on my GT350. Now, the computer in this case is located in the right rear quarter panel, kind of behind the factory subwoofer. But again, you can see the factory strut looks just like a normal conventional S550 strut, with the exception of this wire hanging out the bottom. This is the wire that goes back to the computer where it gets signal from to make any adjustments necessary. Over here, you have the actual sensor itself. As this moves, the sensor will move back and forth that sends signal to the computer. So basically this receives the signal, sends it back to the computer. Through this wire, the computer sends the signal to the magnet ride and makes the adjustments. And again, these adjustments are happening in microseconds, like 20 thousandths of a second. So it's nearly instantaneous and it's happening the entire time you're driving your car. 
So that's the basics on how your Magna Ride suspension operates. And obviously it's a very high tech system, which also makes it very expensive. So it's kind of cost prohibitive to add to a car that doesn't have it. Actually, there are kits on the market that delete Magna Ride if you want to go with like an air suspension or you didn't want to replace expensive components. But if you are looking at a new Mustang and Magna Ride is an option, I highly suggest you consider it.